you strike me, and you've already kind of commented on this, uh, as somebody who wants to be liked and wants to be appreciated. And we talked off the air about this. I want to get your comments on the air about the Eric Bischoff comments because I think they were totally out of left field. They were uncalled for. And for the listeners that don't know what I'm talking about, basically Eric said he didn't want you there, you looked lost, and that he didn't want to work in the same company that you work with. And I thought that was all bullshit. I think that Eric is a weasel. That's why he won't come on this show because he's afraid. I just think that, A, you didn't look lost. B, you did a damn fine job in the ring with what you had to do. And C, it's not his company to worry about who works there and who doesn't. So I just want to get your thoughts, give you a chance, because Lord knows you've done more for this business than he has. So why don't you just go ahead with your comments, and uh, I just want to make sure you had a chance to respond because you're not out there every day on the internet. You're not, your voice isn't heard every day right, right. like his is. My, well, my friend for, who I've been doing some appearances with, uh, um, you know, he keeps me in the hoopla. You know, I've been doing a lot of great appearances with wrestling marks. Right. And, um, and so I've sort of been like kind of listening to what people have been saying, you know, and when, when I saw his comments, I, Actually, it was kind of, I didn't know how to react to it because it was, I never expected it. It was so out of left field. I mean, I had just gone to TNA. Things went great. You know, um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I have, I've never had a beef with Eric. You know, I've never even worked with him. He was very nice to me when I was there. And, and you know, I don't have a problem with anybody. I thought it was great. Uh, so I, I just don't know where it came from. It was strange. Then was maybe there, I looked like a deer in the headlights because I didn't have the right lashes on or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was say you didn't look lost to me, and I watched the same pay per view he was at. So my question is: in the entire time you were with WWE, WWF, WWE, and he was running WCW, did he ever try to get you to come to Nitro? No. Um, as a matter of fact, I was after I started figuring out the things were maybe falling out with WWE at the time. I had spoken about um, possibly going to WCW, but the things were, everything was kind of up in the air, you know, so I was kind of all over the place, but I never spoke directly to him. Okay. I remember meeting him with uh, Hunter up at Universal Studios or something. Hunter and I were doing, I can't remember what we were doing. Maybe he was on the Drew Carey show or something like that, but we bumped into him, and that was the first time I met him, and, you know, shook his, shook his hand and said, hey, what's up, what are you doing, you know? But that's that's the gist of it. That's the extent of it. When you were running around as China as part of DX, he kind of came up with the idea of bringing somebody on, and she was named Asia, and that was supposed to be because, well, she was bigger than China, as memory recalls. Oh, I right, right. That. Yeah, it was old uh, Dale Torberg's wife, I think, or something. Yeah, I remember that. Right. Yeah, that was very short lived. Just it, it didn't over, have the lasting it, appeal. I mean. Uh, you know, why not do that? I mean, that's great. You know, if that, if that, you know, paves the way for more women to do more stuff, I think I'm all for that. I think it's great. But, right. you know, why be mad at me? I don't know. I don't know, but he was certainly butthurt at you about this TNA appearance. That's why I couldn't figure out why. I was like, wow, it wasn't like she was there for very long to begin with. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, it was like I didn't hear from anybody before – anybody knew about the movie because I've been keeping this secret. You know, I did the movie last November and, you know, um, that's one of the reasons why I look so well and why I feel so well, you know, and I, you know, it's not my obligation to go around telling everybody everything I'm doing, you know, it's right. not a secret either. So, you know, after the fact, you know, after I haven't talked to anybody for a while, it's almost like, I don't know, he came up with this for the movie thing for a reason why they didn't have, who knows? I, I don't know. 